Hello students, welcome to Thought of Sir classes. Uh, today we are discussing about the, uh, on the chapter of theory of gases and in this chapter previously we have discussed about the kinetic theory of gases. Today we will discuss about the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution law. Uh, when this, uh, we come to the uh, subject now that when these gas molecules are uh, present in a container or in a system, this uh, there is a random motion between the uh, uh, of the uh, random motion of the gas molecules, and the, and they are always uh, colliding with each other and some also with the walls of the uh, container. So this uh, gas molecule, uh, the specific speed of, of a gas molecule of a uh, gas molecule cannot be assigned due to this reason, due to their collision with other molecules and also their collision with the walls. So we can calculate the most probable speed of the molecule, that is the, uh, or the average speed of the molecules uh, by, uh, uh, by uh, some mathematical way and this uh, uh, speed of the molecule uh, from 0 to a maximum level uh, how how much molecules are uh, distributed in this region from a 0 speed to a maximum speed that was first uh, discussed by Boltzmann uh, Maxwell and that he proposed an equation which is called as Maxwell's Bolt equation is called BNU equal to 4 pi n n by 2 pi kt by 2 e to the power minus m u square by kt by 2 kt u square d so this is the uh, Maxwell's equation where m is the n is the number of molecules, sorry, n is the number of molecules molecules and u is the speed of the molecules of the molecules <coughs> and m is the mass of mass of one molecule so from this equation we can have an idea of the uh, maximum speed most probable speed of the molecule when they are in a uh, closed container This equation gives us an idea about the number of molecules that is DNU, uh, DNU present in between the uh, speed between U and U plus DU. So this DNU power from DNU we can get that how much molecules are uh, having the uh, having the speed between u and u plus u, and this Maxwell distribution curve is uh, plotted when against here it is one by n d 
एल यू बाई डी यू एगेंस्ट यू इज प्लॉटेड वी गेट टू डिफरेंट कार्ड फॉर टू डिफरेंट टू डिफरेंट कार्ड फॉर टू डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर दिस इज वन and another one so this is at temperature t1 and this is at temperature t2 from this curve we can say that From the from this curve, we can see that this this is one by uh, d n u by d u one by n d n u by d u. This is the fraction of molecule having the velocity between u and between u and u and u plus d u and uh, the from the curve we see. That the as the temperature is increasing, the uh, uh, the kinetic energy of the molecule is also increasing, and so we have we see that the at at the average uh, at the average velocity there there is a maximum number of fraction of molecule which has an average velocity as the number of fraction increases. Uh, but the velocity is at the velocity is decreases the number of fraction is in decreasing so maximum number of molecules have a average velocity in the in the region here but when temperature is increase this average velocity is also it become uh, the curve become more uh, are spreaded more Uh, more wide than this previous one and this uh, velocity is also increasing with the uh, average velocity is also increasing with the uh, but the number of uh, fraction of molecule is decreasing so with the increasing temperature we can say that the lesser number of fraction of molecule is getting uh, the average or most probable velocity which is this velocity is called the maximum of this is called the most probable velocity v of u or u of mps or most probable speed most probable speed now the value of u mp is can be calculated from the mathematical uh, derivation we are coming to uh, we are coming from mathematical formulation that we are coming now now u mp is u mp is can be determined from the maximum minimum value of this function so for this we Can derive this. Uh, we can uh, differentiate the equation. First of all, we take one by n d n u by d u. That is equal to four pi m by two pi r t to the power three by two d t to the power Minus m u square by two k t. Now, if we differentiate it in this equation uh, with respect to u, differentiate c f with respect to u. Here we have just uh, divided this factor with m. This m is taken here. And this d u is taken here, so we are getting this, and if we are differentiating this equation, 
with respect to u. Then we are getting 1 by n d n u by d u square. Or we can write it like this uh, 1 by d u 1 by n d n u by d u this is equal to 4 pi uh, 4 pi into m by 2 pi r t m by 2 pi r t uh, this is to the power 3 by t common if we take it common then u e to the power minus m u square by 2 kt plus u square into minus 2 kv by 2 kt e to the power minus m u square by 2 kt. So this is the this is the function of two functions. So after differentiation we are getting this. Now for maximum for maximum we have 1 by d u 1 by n d u uh, d n u by d u this should be equal to 0 therefore we have this 4 pi m by 2 pi r t to the power 3 by 2 into 2 u t to the power minus m u square by 2 k t plus u square into minus 2 m u by 2 k t e to the power minus m u square by 2 k t. So this should be equal to 0. can say that 2 u into to the power minus m u square by 2 k t one minus m u square by 2 k t equal to zero. Now, for this reaction, uh, for this equation, uh, for this equation, we can say that this u cannot be u cannot be zero. Similarly, e to the power minus m u square by 2 k t that will be 0 when u is equal to infinity but rms value 
uh, sorry, uh, most probably it will be NPS value cannot be not be infinity. Therefore, we can say that 1 minus m u square by 2 kt that is equal to 0. So, this factor should be 0. So, from here we are getting uh, that m u square by 2 kt that is equal to 1 or m u square equal to 2 k t or u square equal to 2 k t by small m and u equal to u equal to root over 2 k t by small a. For one mole of gas, for one mole of gas, this k value is equal to r, the real gas constant, and in for m small m we can say the molar mass capital M. So this becomes root over 2RT by capital M. So we found that the most u MPS for a gas, most probable speed uh, for a gas that is equal to root over 2RT by M. Now we see that for a given gas is M is constant, R is constant. So this MPS value depends on the temperatures and it is directly proportional to the temperature. So MPS value of a gas is directly proportional to the temperature of the gas. Now we are coming to determination of mean free part, mean free part uh, of molecule, of gas molecule. The mean free part it is defined as the uh, distance travelled by a molecule between two successive collision. The, the, it is also expressed as mean free part equal to This is equal to average distance travel travel by that is by a molecule. Per unit time, per unit time by number of collision number of collision made by made by seeing. That is mean free part is the average distance travelled by a molecule per unit time by number of collision made by a single molecule per unit time. So we can say it is if we say mean free part as lambda, then it is equal to u 
पाई जेट तो यू इज द मीन मोस्ट प्रोबेबल वेलोसिटी मोस्ट प्रोबेबल वेलोसिटी वेलोसिटी मोस्ट प्रोबेबल स्पीड सॉरी स्पीड एंड सो पार यूनिट टाइम इट इज ट्रेवलिंग ए डिस्टेंस ऑफ यू एंड जेड इज द नंबर ऑफ पॉल्यूशन नंबर ऑफ पॉल्यूशन Hence, we can say that this uh, value, uh, this is equal to u average speed by two pi sigma square sigma square. Uh, U bar n square. N U bar n, and then this becomes then U bar is cancelled, and we get that is equal to one by this U bar is cancelled, and we get one by two pi sigma square uh, n. This is the main three part of the. molecule in the, in the gas